Today we're going to be talking about how to build your very own Parisian style capsule wardrobe for spring. This is part 3 of the Parisian style 10x10 capsule wardrobe challenge hosted by myself and Jessica Harumi. She is a minimalist and ethical sustainable style blogger. She talks about slow living and she is a design genius. And to top it all off, she's just genuinely one of the nicest, coolest girls I've met on the internet and I highly recommend checking out her Instagram account for lots of style inspiration and subscribing to her YouTube channel. She did her Parisian style 10x10 capsule wardrobe for spring and it is amazing so I highly recommend you go and check it out. The Parisian style 10x10 Instagram challenge is 100% free and all that you need to do to participate is have Instagram take one outfit photo or video per day for 10 days and then post using both of our handles Jessica Harumi and Brie Lamberson and use the hashtag Parisian style 10x10 10. That way when you post your picture or your video, we will be sure to see it and share it on our Instagram stories and we can all follow along and see how many women from all around the world are creating amazing Parisian style outfits. As I said, it's 100% free and it starts tomorrow on April 11th and goes until the 20th of April. There is no right or wrong style of clothing, but we highly encourage you to be inspired by the Parisian aesthetic and use what you've got in your closet. Anyone can join. It is available to anyone, any age, any country, any background, no matter where you are in the world, you can absolutely join this challenge. And we are so honored that you would participate in this challenge. It means the world to us. And Jessica and I have actually created a freebie, which will help you not only plan your wardrobe, but outlines all the details of how to participate in this free challenge. And you can download that by clicking the link in the description box below. Plus, we've got something super special planned coming up for Earth Day, so be on the lookout for that. If you've been wanting to get more out of your wardrobe and would love some help from some professional wardrobe, capsule wardrobe experts, Jessica and I are going to be hosting a workshop coming up soon. So if you download that freebie, you will definitely be on the list to hear about the workshop. So click that link in the description box below. You will be the first to know when we announce details about the workshop. I'm sure that by now you have heard 10x10 10 10 all over the place, but in case you haven't, it is a capsule wardrobe challenge, and capsule wardrobe just means a smaller, you know, tinier version of your overall wardrobe. But the 10x10 10 10 was created by a blogger called Lee Vosberg, and she decided to use 10 articles of clothing that she would create 10 outfits with to wear over the course of 10 days. And to make putting your 10x10 10 10 together that much easier, I have teamed up with the sponsor of today's video, Open wardrobe. As you guys know, I love open wardrobe and this is a digital wardrobe planning tool that I use all the time. This makes putting together new outfits an absolute dream come true. You can get help from style gurus, from style buddies, and now what's really cool, you can also turn your wardrobe public. You can actually make it open to your friends um, on a private level or you can make it open to everyone on the app. This is going to help people to not only connect further over their passion of sustainable and ethical style and just learning to get more styling advice, you can get loads of style inspiration from real people who are sharing their outfits with everyone on the app. Download the Open Wardrobe app for free. It's 100% free. You can join Jessica and I on this challenge, on the 10x10 challenge. It will make planning your 10x10 capsule wardrobe so easy. So in order to make your wardrobe and your outfits open, you can just head to the Discover section of the app and click on my icon to view the public profile, my public profile, and from there you can view my outfits and my wardrobe for the Parisian style 10x10. Now let me introduce you to the 10 articles of clothing that I've picked for my 10x10 capsule wardrobe challenge. In the freebie that Jessica and I created, we talk a little bit about how you can get so much wear out of 10 pieces based on the number of tops, bottoms, and outerwear items that you select, but I did stick to basically like a 3-4-3 three, three model. So I have four tops, I have three bottoms, and three outerwear pieces. I have been absolutely loving these 
these muscle tanks over the past few weeks and so I got this white one. It's like a ribbed tank top from Target. I got it in white, gray, and black. Here's the black one as well and I just, I love how basic these are and how much versatility they've added to my wardrobe because one of my go-to outfit combinations is a blazer or an outerwear piece and a top. These have been just revolutionary for my wardrobe. I highly recommend them. And where would a Parisian capsule wardrobe be without Breton stripes? And I wanted to try something a little different this go around, so I got a t-shirt from Zara. This kind of has like an instantly classic look. To me, it's a little bit more chic than just a straight striped, you know, all striped shirt. But I think that there's room in your wardrobe for more than one style of stripes especially horizontal stripes. So I wanted to try something very different this go around and I have to say I love it. My fourth piece and my final top is this thrifted silk blouse in this very light off-white cream color and it's 100% silk and it's from a brand called Anna and Frank and I find this at the thrift store, this brand, all the time but it's just this long sleeved kind of cargo style two, two pocket button up silk blouse and it's so classic and basic. You'll see in the outfits that it really is a very versatile piece and it makes dressing for spring I think super easy. Now moving on to the outerwear section. <laughs> so as you guys can see there's a theme developing here. This is a pure white Irish linen blazer from Brooks Brothers. It's a single breasted blazer with two buttons. This is a go-to piece for me and I know that I've got a lot of neutrals in my wardrobe right now for the 10 by 10 but I wanted to try something different and it was a huge challenge for me but it is working out. I'm trying something different and maybe this will inspire you to try some neutrals and some basics and see what you can come up with in your capsule wardrobe. Outerwear piece number two is another staple for me. You guys have seen this one many a time. This is a vintage double-breasted Brooks Brothers blazer. This is also linen and it's this very buttery, creamy, yellow color and I absolutely adore this. I wear this jacket all the time. You guys, I wear it constantly and I just think it's one of the most chic pieces that I've ever thrifted and I cannot believe I was lucky enough to find it. Outerwear piece number three, my final outerwear piece, is a classic trench coat. This one has made an appearance in my other capsule wardrobes and the reason I went with this one is because it is extremely lightweight so it's perfect for spring. It is the Everlane classic drape trench coat. It's very, very comfortable. The last thing that you need in spring is to be cold and caught in the rain but you also don't want to be caught on those randomly sunny afternoons like right now when the sun is deciding to come out even though it's been snowing earlier today and you need something to cover up but you don't want to be too hot this is perfect I love this classic trench coat highly recommend it I think they've got it in black on Everlane right now now moving on to bottoms I have my first pair of bottoms which is a classic pair of denim these are the a goldie 90s mid-rise loose-fitting jeans. They're button fly classic straight leg pair of jeans. I've talked about these jeans extensively on my channel and I even wore them in Fall's 10x10 capsule wardrobe. So these are like my favorite. These are my new favorite pair of jeans ever. I love these so much. Bottom number two is the pair of Everlane rigid way high jeans. These are the 90s way high jeans in rigid denim. They're a dark wash denim. They are straight leg but they're slightly cropped and and they do have some distressing their button fly with two pockets in the back. These are I think a great balance to the blue so you've got the indigo blue bottom, you've got a black bottom and then for your final bottom piece you could go with a pair of slacks that would be maybe a white or a cream. That would be a really great three pieces that you could get tons of versatile wear out of. The third pair of bottoms and the tenth final piece is this pair of really extremely high-waisted trousers from H&M but they are the most creamy, beautiful, oh my gosh these are so beautiful. They're silk and linen blend and they've got this sewn pleat in the front. They're extraordinarily long so I had to I had to safety pin the cuff. Like I inverted the cuff and safety pinned them for the video because there was no way I was going to get these tailored in time for the Parisian style. But these are slick you guys. So this is the 10th and final piece and I think the outfits that I created with this are really cute but I'd love your guys' feedback. 
So for jewelry, I am keeping it very simple and I'm wearing the Louise de Moss medallion necklace that my husband got for me. And I love this piece. It's quite long and it really makes some of those neutral pieces pop and you'll see that in the outfit section. Plus I'm wearing this thrifted freshwater pearl necklace that I think looks just like Majuri. <laughs> I think it's identical to Majuri. And then I'm wearing these thrifted 100% silver Italian hoops and they kind of have a slight gold tint to them but they are silver. As you guys have seen in several of my videos recently I've got a pair of thrifted tortoiseshell sunglasses, a pair of H&M sunglasses that are black and they're several years old. I get a ton of wear out of those. And then for shoes and footwear I've got four pieces and I think they are very cohesive and work together super well with the whole capsule. But I relied very heavily on just one or two of them. And you'll see in the outfits which two I relied very heavily on. One of the four I didn't even wear, but I'm going to be probably styling a lot more in the 10 by 20 that's coming out next week. For handbags, you guys have seen me wear the Rouge dupe handbag so many times and I think it works perfectly with this set of clothes. And then I've got the thrifted Calvin Klein quilted handbag which you guys have seen me wear again like every single video that I make. I love that handbag. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at look number one. This look is absolutely adorable to me. I feel so cute and chic in it. This is where that unique Breton stripe top I think comes in very handy. This is something that I just think makes the blazer pop. It makes the t-shirt pop. So to keep the look very cohesive, I'm not wearing very many accessories at all, but I've paired it, the yellow blazer with that other accent color, these yellow sandals from And Other Stories that have been in my wardrobe for several years now. I think that the yellow of the blazer is like pitch perfect match to the yellow of the shoes and then that brown, brownish raffia straw bag from the Rouge Dupe on Etsy just it looks great in my opinion. I think it works so very well. And then I've decided just to keep the sunglasses black and chic and elegant and simple and it's calling out the black stripes in the t-shirt. This outfit is my all neutral look. This was definitely a departure for me. I have not worn something like this ever before. I feel really grown up in this and I almost wonder if it's too much neutral going on, but I think that there is quite a lot of visual interest if you break it down, but the slacks really change the way this outfit looks. I think I look really put together and polished, but I don't know, I'd love your guys' feedback in the comments section. What do you think about this all neutral outfit? This look is kind of riffing off of a, um, of a style that I've already worn, but I thought instead of just wearing a solid white top, underneath I tried the white Breton top with the black stripes. I think it works. I'm not 100% in love with it, but I don't think it looks horrible. I honestly think this would be just a fun casual outfit to try, so I wanted to keep it all cohesive in that black-white category, and I'm just wearing the black sunglasses with the black quilted Calvin Klein handbag and of course that Christian Dior scarf. This again is another take on neutral dressing which is something I'm trying out these days and I wanted to see how dressing in almost entirely white and neutral would work and I think that this came together quite well. So you've got the white tank top with the white blazer and then the trousers kind of being that beigey wheat cutler plus the cream espadrilles. Then I've just got the raffia bag and the tortoiseshell sunglasses. So I feel like this is a really neat outfit and I thought it came together quite well and I really, really love it. This look I have been dreaming about creating for so very long. That's the main reason why I wanted to get this striped top. I just feel like this style of Breton top makes a classic pair of trousers or a classic pair of jeans just pop. And so I wanted to keep this outfit really simple and you can just see that there's not a lot going on. I'm not even wearing an outerwear piece here, but you could throw on an outerwear piece if you wanted to. But I think the trousers look fantastic with this. 
This look is nearly identical to another one that I styled, except the only swaps that I made were the t-shirt for the blouse, so it's a solid rather than a print, and then the sunglasses are different. But I do think that it creates an entirely new look. You might not think that these looks are all that casual. I do think that this is a more dressed up look, and I think if you added a couple of other details, it could be even more dressed up. Here's another trouser look for you. I wanted to try something different and normally I would just never put such a dark color with such a contrasting light color on top, but I'm actually thinking that this is working. I don't know. It's very different for me and I think if I wanted to augment this look for a different occasion, I might try a dark blazer, but I didn't include one for my capsule wardrobe. So I do think that this looks really cute together and ironically, the Castaner espadrilles, I think, are what make the whole thing come together because they're calling out that white blazer. Would definitely love your feedback in the comments below on this outfit. I never would have thought to put these pieces together if it hadn't been for the capsule challenge, but this black base outfit, so you've got the black tank top, the black jeans, the black boots, and the black sunglasses, all I'm really doing is bringing out that bold accent color of yellow, pairing it with that kind of yellow raffia bag, and then my medallion necklace is, is really on display here, it just pops. I absolutely love that this outfit came together so easily for me and again it's something I've never actually styled before and I love how the neutrals are working so well with the dark accessories and the black jeans. I think this is kind of the key to dressing is that you want to keep things really simple in some ways. It's all about the pieces working together and I just love that the top and that draped trench coat have this very neutral kind of similar hue to them and then the proportions of this outfit I think are working quite well so that the jeans just hit at a nice place and to be well balanced and well proportioned because that length of the trench coat just works so very well. One of my favorite aspects of creating a 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe is using what I like to call the anatomy of an outfit. And essentially what it is, is understanding that you can create an entirely new look by changing probably just one thing. So this outfit is identical to another outfit I styled. The only swap I made was the bottoms. And you can see that it has a lot of, a lot more visual interest, but it has a much more casual feel and it looks way more dressed down and all I did was change the bottoms. I didn't change anything else about this look and I think it came together incredibly well. This is something I would wear all the time. In fact, all of these outfits are really, I think, unique and cute and simple, but I'm wondering what you guys think about them. Which of the 10 is your favorite? You can pick more than one if you want to, but I would love to know what you guys think about these 10 looks in the comments section below. Okay, so that wraps up today's video. I am so incredibly grateful for you. Jessica and I are beyond thrilled for you to join the challenge, plus all the links to the pieces that I've got here that I can link are also linked in the description box below. And don't forget that you can download the Open Wardrobe app 100% for free. Check out our Open Wardrobes. Jessica and I have both made our outfits and our wardrobes public to you so you can go and browse them. Come say hi, come be friends with us there, open your wardrobes to us and use the open wardrobe app to plan your Parisian style 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions at all and want some help on planning your wardrobe, you can just leave them in the comments section below and Jessica and I will be happy to help you in any way that we can. We're wishing you all the best. Take really good care and I will see you tomorrow on Instagram.